In the beginning, before our star and the earth, there was just a giant cloud of low-density gas. This vast, gaseous area where our planets will eventually form is called the pre-solar nebula. It is made of mostly hydrogen and helium, with a mere 2% composed of the old remnants of recycled stars. The initial collapse of this cloud was likely triggered by a nearby supernova, whose shock wave may have initiated the formation of the sun. As the cloud collapsed, conservation of angular momentum caused it to rotate faster until it flattened into what is called a protoplanetary disk. Most of the mass is contained within the center of this disk, growing much hotter than the area around it. This is where the protostar begins to form. Because the gas nearest the sun was too spread out to clump together, planets had to begin as mere specks of dust. These gradually clumped together until they become pebbles, crashing into rocks, merging with boulders, becoming planetesimals, and, eventually, protoplanets. Once they are large enough, they generate an atmospheric drag which increases the rate in which they capture smaller planetesimals. This violent, lengthy process is what transforms space dust into terrestrial planets. Even if they could accumulate hydrogen or helium, the sun's energy would have heated up the gases until they escaped. This is why our terrestrial planets, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars, had to form for much rarer, heavier elements resulting in vastly smaller, denser planets. Beyond the frost line, where temperatures are much cooler, hydrogen compounds are able to freeze into ices. Since these compounds vastly outnumber the rock and metals that form terrestrial planets, the gas giants are able to grow much larger in size and accrete far more material than the planets closer to the Sun. Eventually, we have the four Jovian planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Many of the leftover material from the inner solar system eventually found its way into the asteroid belt, an orbit located between Mars and Jupiter. This is said to contain hundreds of thousands of objects over a kilometer in diameter. Despite this, asteroids in the region are few and far between so that spaceships can regularly pass through them. Beyond the orbit of Neptune, however, lies the Kuiper Belt. It is similar to the asteroid belt, except it is 20 times as wide and almost 200 times as massive. Due to its extremely distant orbit, objects in the Kuiper Belt are made primarily of ices like methane and water. Altogether, from nebula to stabilization, they form our solar system, a small bit of home embedded in a small section of the universe.